writing about this cooperation and thinking about it, the first thing that struck to us is about team building because cooperation is main thing that when we build teams, for team building we need trust, trust in each other's capacity, trust in each other's uh, strengths and knowledge. And we need cooperation mainly to achieve uh, the Herculean tasks which are not possible individually. So if we want to progress, if we want to develop, what we need is cooperation. And it is also important to, uh, uh, to have a better, peaceful and terror-free world that we need is cooperation. I'm sorry that I'm bringing, I, I brought this terrorism in this, but I'm, I'm really upset of what is going on currently in the world. And we are part of the society, we are part of this world. So we cannot keep ourselves alienated from the developments or rather not so developments in going on currently. So that's why um, I also wrote there that if cooperation is not there, then what will happen? So we will go towards extremism and all the other wrong and bad things that we should not go towards. So that's, uh, that's why we think cooperation is important in education and in life. Yes. Thank you. And now we have here classroom settings. Classroom settings. Uh, it's where you teach. It's your second home. It's uh, the place where you meet your students, your learners. And if it is not like well equipped, there are no facilities, and it's not like uh, very comfortable, your teaching is not going to be like very very well. Um, I I was sharing with her. I was teaching in a classroom where the windows were very small and up and there is no picture, nothing, and I, I felt really, I, I felt like upset and I couldn't teach. So the main points we have um, focus on atmosphere. The, atmos the, the good atmosphere is um, provided by pictures, uh, uh, big windows. I, I like big windows and I like to see trees and I like to see because it's like, uh, and, um, um, the atmosphere, where, why not music? Students are doing their work and we have like music and they listen to music. And um, we have to uh, suggest also educational games. Why? Because some students sometimes work and they finish their work earlier than the others. So we give them like, to, not, to make, to make them, not to make noise. So they have to be busy doing something. So, and we talked about um, Facilities in teaching, if you have like, for example, computers, smart board, I mean, this is very, very nice. Or for photocopying, I mean, we can make like photocopies very quickly for students. We have books, we have dictionaries, students can check and, and we have like, uh, she was thinking of a sofa where you can relax, especially <coughs> And we have thought of even toys, if they are like younger learners, why not? If they can play with toys or... And um, the interaction, when we talk about classroom setting, we also we mean here the interaction between learners and teachers. Um, we, we don't just mention the physical setting, but also the... Um, this uh, how to psychological, say, psychological uh, yes atmosphere okay that uh, should be provided in the class when teaching. Thank you. I sometimes wonder why kids feel that 
more and more exercises when children have done their exercises quickly and well. Is that a tank for good work? More exercises. I prefer sofa and, for example, nice book to read and maybe little naps. <laughs> okay, uh, we started off with the, the children's needs, which is uh, on one hand very difficult to answer as an adult, and on the other hand, I don't think the differences are that big in terms of children's needs and adults' needs. Um, what we tried to do, we, because we thought everything on that paper was very good, we tried uh, to make uh, uh, to, to summarize it, and we summarized it by four words. Uh, first of all, basic needs. If they are not in order, then I think it's very difficult for children to play. To uh, if you are at war, for instance, mm -hmm. it's more difficult. The children will still do it, but it's more difficult. The other one is love. Uh, uh, care, Caring for each other, coziness, gezelligheid, as we call it in Dutch, which you can't understand, but. Uh, yeah, we have a lot. A lot. <laughs> so that's the second one. The third one is uh, movement, and we equalize it a bit by the challenge because learning is about moving, and, and, and so learning, uh, movement, and challenge. And the last one we used is uh, communication, because if you are not sharing your thoughts with other uh, children, mm -hmm. then learning is, uh, is not an option and playing is not an option. Mm -hmm. So, that's it. Good, thank you. Thank you. Uh, I must tell you, we have a long time, probably four minutes, but uh, one thing, uh, in a in, uh, I think it was uh, 2000 and, uh, 2004 or 5. when school started, I found uh, one of my, uh, one of my uh, classrooms uh, boys was very sad and uh, he was not um, not at all like he used to be. Um, he was always very keen on doing school things, even his home situation was really awful. A uh, few days went by and then I found that he was very hungry, he was messy, and do you know what? He has built a tent in a forest because he was neglected to oh. learn. So the, the basic things mm -hmm. you mentioned, mm -hmm. it's the first. Okay, and now before we end. So what did school do with the boy? I, yes, um, I reacted immediately, but I was very uh, uh, angry with me because it took three days for me to discover because he was doing his homework and those, those basic things. Um, of course, social, I contacted social services and first they took um, him from, from his uh, original family, but after a few days they found a very good, stable family to, to him. Mm -hmm. There are, there are really bad stories, even in Finland. <coughs> and now we end our marvelous workshop with one, one exercise. Now you try to find from your mind one word which is, uh, which is co uh, connected with inclusion with uh, what comes to your mind first and you think it's the most important. And now we start quick round. Yeah. Here. Uh, respect. Open. Empathy. 
cooperation, equality, love. Everyone smile. Love. Good. And now we clap our hands to each other. And thank you all. And I also have my cards if yes. you want to, to contact with me. And